welcome to this uh, welcome to this exclusive Zoom webinar today that we have. And my name is Anthony Bermudez, and I'm the Vice President of Operations at MVP Realty. And well, usually Derek does this, but he had an uh, impromptu doctor's appointment, whether he knew or not, but he's out of the way. And here I am just taking over and introducing what's going on today. And and I would say that this is going to be exciting because now this is the first session of first class that we have with, with one of our partnering uh, mortgage consultants, and that's with Matt Sochi and his team. So today, what we're going to go over, what Matt's going to go over, because I'm not a mortgage professional, is the down payment assistance programs that are available for you and your clients. So we're hoping that during these challenging times with higher interest rates and people being skeptical about jumping in, right, because they want to wait till the interest rates go down, that hopefully this in Zoom intro helps us with some ways of doing that. So with that said, Matt, uh, this is um, your opportunity here to tell us all about what you have going on. Yeah, awesome. Uh, thanks for the introduction, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, as you know, um, we're very excited uh, to be partnering up with you guys. Um, I know you guys have a huge team, and we talked a little bit about it a second ago. Um, you guys are just amazing to do every single day. Um, and we just really appreciate uh, the opportunity to be part of here. So we want to talk to you a little bit today about um, you know some of the leadership in our company uh, real quick, and then go over some programs in this challenging market to help you guys get more transactions done. Because at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the day, that's, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to help families get into homes um, through these challenging times. And we have a lot of options for you that are outside the box. Um, so we're going to hey, kick Matt, it off of that. Yes. Real quick, before you jump in, can I ask everybody to mute? Uh, I, I know we're super excited to be here. But none of us want to miss what Matt and the team's going to share. So if you're unmuted, please just mute yourself. Uh, that way we're not getting all that background uh, uh, feedback. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate that. And then, you know, as far as ground rules, I was going to bring that up is if you can mute your phones, it will definitely help because we're going to record this and share this afterwards with uh, the rest of the team that couldn't make it. But really our goal here is for... Um, everybody to be interactive, ask some questions. We have a good support team. We actually have uh, the lovely face of Sean on the bottom there. She's with one of our preferred lenders as a senior account executive um, with a lot of the programs that they offer. So lots of um, resources on this call. Um, Glenn is going to monitor the chat. So if you, because I can't see it because of the PowerPoint. So if you have questions uh, and you don't want to speak, just feel free to put it in the chat and then we'll address them as we go. And really the, the end goal here is for you guys to, to walk away with some some nuggets. Um, and I think that's always the key here is walking away with a golden nugget. And everybody can see the screen, correct? All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna oh, kick it I off with- I think everybody's muted. That's okay, I got the thumbs up. Um, all right, so we're gonna kick it off with Glenn. Uh, Glenn's just gonna talk a little bit about the company, origination of it, and then we'll just kind of go down the list here. All right, sounds great. Thanks, Matt. Uh, nice to- Kind of meet everybody on this Zoom meeting. I'm looking really forward uh, to this venture together. My name is uh, Glenn Minet Jr. I'm the uh, founder of Premier Mortgage Consultants. Uh, I got in a little bit of background about Premier myself. I got into the lending industry in 2001, uh, worked for a direct lender, uh, great times, did that, and then opened Premier Mortgage Consultants in 2005 i just needed something with more options for my clients you know at the direct lender uh the direct lender i had only a few options and i decided hey i, I just want to open a company driven by family values uh help all the people i can help get into homes that i couldn't help as a direct lender and that's when premier mortgage consultants was formed in 2005 out of cape coral we had a couple offices in Cape Coral, uh, one in Jacksonville, one in Fort Myers, uh, and probably about 20, 30 employees until the crash. You know, everybody, I don't know how many people went through that in 07 and 08, uh, but we stayed alive, stayed strong during that process. And um, now we're uh, still have an office in Cape Coral and we have one here in Naples now. And I'm um, just looking forward to this. I'm going to keep the chat open for you guys. So I'm going to hand it off to either Matt, back to you, 
uh, and I'll monitor the chat. But uh, awesome. great talking with everyone. All right, Glenn. Awesome. Um, so as you guys probably know, I'm Matt Sochi, uh, President and Senior Loan Officer here with Premier Mortgage. Um, just a little background for me. I've worked for corporate America my entire life. Um, funny story. I did a refinance. Oh, man, it was probably about six years ago. And uh, my wife said, hey, talk to Glenn. I was like, all right, I'll talk to Glenn because the bank that I was working with, you know, was raise, rates were high, everything else. And I just started asking questions. I was like, you know, what's this job all about? I bought houses before, but as a consumer, you don't really think about it, right? You're just like, oh, I'm excited to get a house. I got approved for a mortgage. So I started asking questions. And he's like, yeah, you know, you got to take a course and pass the test and all that. And uh, I did. And, you know, I started with Premier Mortgage and I have a background in sales, uh, marketing, mm -hmm. uh, management. You know, really what I stand yeah. for is, you know, yeah. my top pri priority in everything is communication. And I think when I talk to a lot of realtors, that's the number one thing they always say is communication is the most vital thing in this industry. And I back that and champion that 100%. Um, so yeah, I've been doing this for uh, five years. I love it. This is my passion. Nothing is a transaction. Our buyers are family and uh, you know, we become lifelong friends. That's what our company is. We're a family company. We're not corporate America. And I think that attracts a lot of people. We're just real people. We're like 7-Eleven. We're open 24-7. Uh, you know, and we're here to support guys. builders, buyers, anything there is. And we're always re- vamping the wheel as you will um you know as you guys are growing with mvp us as a company are growing as well and uh you know that's that's our end result is to just keep helping people as we go on so looking forward to it and uh i'm gonna hand it off to jeff mercer the expert love that last chance let's find you a new home yeah those are gonna kind of create that hey, Matt, i believe as a host Where real quick be a bit of mute um so look at muting everyone on your end thank you well uh, just something to keep in mind yeah, let me try real quick sorry about that that's okay the email feature um again i'm gonna show you how all right got it yep. i have to do one by one um so jeff are you on the are you on the call mm. Jeff, if you're on mute. Okay. Right. He might be muted. That's okay. All right, Sid. Actually, hey, what's I going on? Here? I, know, listen, I know a lot of the people from MVP. I know you guys haven't seen my face very often. Like uh, like Matt, and most of you guys know Matt through his social media, his posts, his funny stuff, his wins, his, his exuberance in the mornings, all that motivation that he posts out there. And that's how him and I linked up. So a lot of you guys have seen me. We, I've, I've tried out a lot of the companies here locally, guys. And, um, you know, as I had my baby last year, you know, priorities kind of shift. Priorities shift just like for you guys in your industry and in your business. Sometimes finding a place, wanting to settle in for six months, sometimes it's tough. And all of a sudden, it's like there's still something missing. Well, for me, when I came on with PMC, it was, it just seemed to fit. To me, it's like home. And Matt's a little bit... Kind of like a, a second wife, communication, communication, communication. And honestly, as much as I laugh at it, and sometimes we have jokes about it in the office, Matt's continued leadership in pushing that, promoting it, and continuing to get it into our souls that every single person, whether it's the realtor, whether it's the client, whether it's an inspector, whoever it may be that's touching this file up and down the line, communication is absolutely key. So him and Glenn have done such an amazing job of creating a, an environment where there is always a touch. There's always someone who's gonna to touch someone in this to ensure that everyone understands, hey, this is where we are today. If this is a problem, we know what the fix will be, or hey, this is going well, we should be closed by this date. That is the reason I came here. We all have to find the places that fit, or the every, each one of us have a hole that we need to fit. Kind of like that rib that they took from us back in the day for all those, uh, those Bible-loving uh, folks out there. Uh, for, uh, for me, it was PMC. For me, it was there were certain parts of my business when I came back to going to it full time after the baby and PMC just fit that perfectly. The reason I took not only the position as loan officer of BizDev is because I definitely saw there was a need on their side. And that's one of the wonderful things about PMC. They really see everything in the entire picture and they're honest from day one. So as we look forward to fermenting this relationship and growing it, we know that there are obviously challenges in front of us. And a lot of those challenges will be presented today. 
but the solutions will also be presented and we're looking forward to doing that. So thank you so much, Matt and Fridlin. Thanks, Sid. Love you, buddy. Uh, Jeff, are you able to unmute? We'll see if, uh, can everybody hear me okay now? Yes, sir. All right, good deal, good deal. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I think I called in and it just wasn't, the mic wasn't working, but uh, yeah, my name's Jeff Mercer. Um, I, uh, a little bit about me, I've, uh, I've been in the architectural design and um, in real estate, not really real estate sales, but I've worked with a lot of real estate agents over the years um, on basically closing deals and doing uh, design work for, you know, uh, multi-million dollar executives that have purchased, you know, homes on the beach or, you know, condos on Gulf Shore Boulevard that they wanted to gut. And, um, you know, design and sales has been in my blood since, you know, since I was a kid. I've got an art background and I've always enjoyed it. So, um, you know, after 15, 16 years working for large companies here in Naples, um, I actually had the opportunity, um, knowing Matt before, uh, before we even got into the mortgage side of things. And, um, you know, when he did his transition and was telling me how amazing, you know, Glenn was and this company. Oh, I don't and, care. Uh, Good God. What was that? You're good. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, anyways, uh, it, when he told me how good it was to actually make the transition, um, it was something that I knew we had to do and, uh, meeting Glenn just really kind of put it over the, you know, over the, the edge for me to say, Hey, listen, it's time for that transition. So once we made that transition about five years ago, um, you know, we've all came together as one big group. Um, you know, we call it the dream team basically. And we say, Hey, listen, uh, we can take this, you know, from what Glenn had it at to, you know, where we are today. And, uh, We've implemented a lot of new realtors, a lot of new um, lenders, a lot of new products and programs that really kind of set us apart. So, um, you know, I'm excited uh, for this opportunity. I'm excited for this uh, sort of uh, venture that we're doing together with MVP. And um, I'm excited to run through sort of uh, what sets us apart from everybody else today. And hopefully we, uh, we have the opportunity to work together in the future uh, uh, with us as one big group and grow together. Awesome, Jeff. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, and Shauna, are you there? I am here. Um, I'm excited to kind of help you guys just to give you a little bit of background about me. I've actually been in this business for 23 years and I have been on both the mortgage side, but you have the advantage that I also spent quite a few years as a realtor. So, um, even though I am, you know, on the mortgage end now, I do have a lot of history as a realtor and understand what you guys need and expect to get your purchases closed. And I'm here to help Matt and his team and Jeff and Sid make sure all of, you know, their needs are met so that you guys get timely closes because obviously that's the most important thing. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. We appreciate you so much. And uh, Shauna works with one of our preferred lenders. So she's going to talk about some of the really cool programs that we do have. Um, and, and just as a, you know, we obviously have more people on our, our team. So we have a few LOAs. We have great operations and back end, um, which gets it to the finish line. And, uh, you know, we have a bunch of loan officers that work with our team. So we also have bilingual, which is very important, especially, you know, when you look at the demographics of Florida. So we have all things covered for you guys. And we're really excited to kick this off. So hopefully that helped just kind of tell our story. If we haven't talked to you yet. Uh, welcome, and we're really excited about it. So we're going to kick it off now with what's for lunch, right? Lunch and learn. So we're going to talk about some you know, niche options that we have for our clients, the Florida Housing Bond, FHA financing at 100%. We have a one-plus program, which is super exciting. I got a couple of those with a couple of you guys, if you're on the call, with MVP. Um, Val approvals, uh, which is basically a fully underwritten approval before having a contract, which makes our clear to closes. If you guys follow me on Facebook or Jeff um, or, or Sid, you probably see them like eight day clear to closes, yada, yada, yada. So we have all that good stuff. Uh, free credit upgrades. And then a little bit about our technology, which I think is really exciting. Um, so we'll kind of go through that a little bit. So we're going to kick it off with Sid talking about the Florida housing program. All right, guys. So let's get into it really quick. Everyone's been eating really, really nicely these last uh, these last about six, seven months, right? Hometown Heroes has been a huge topic of conversation. It's been our go-to for DPAs. Well, guess what? A couple of weeks ago, what happened? We got that wonderful notice saying funds are gone. So what happens? People go into a frenzy. People are fires, hanging heads, and we don't want people to freak out. All right. Obviously, yes, the program was a great one. 
And by the way, for those who don't know, we're getting regular updates as to if there are funds that are being returned. As many people know, there are loans that don't close. So any funds that have been locked up and those loans don't close, that money goes back into a pot. We're getting regular updates from our AE. So does that mean that your client or a potential client could be going into those funds? It's potential. Don't want to say it's 100 percent. But just the fact that there's an option out there for hometown here says that. But we all know that those funds will not be returned, all right, aside from those that don't close. So what are the options for DPA for your future clients? We've got multiple. We've got the $10,000 deferred mortgage with no payment, right? That's through the state. We've got a 10000 that's amortized, an amortized loan, which means after a certain amount of time, actually that is not payable. But if you sell that property beforehand, it is a loan that is given back. It's not something that you're paying on. It's something that you pay back after the sale of the property. So really, guys, in a sense, there's all these different avenues to helping your clients not only not only help to qualify, as well as help to bring more cash to the table. Okay, what are other I'm going to transfer you over to him. He's available. Just a moment. Thank you. All right, yes. cool. So I, now that I'm transferred over, uh, the other program that was mentioned on that first slide, guys, is 100% FHA financing. Yes, that is an option. We have one of our vendors or one of our mortgage or one of our banks offers a 3.5% uh, DPA. What does that do for them? Exactly what it sounds like, meaning their down payment will not have to come out of their pocket. All right, so what they'd be worried about and focused on is closing costs. Can we work that into the contract? Hey, negotiations are a wonderful thing and you guys are the pros at it. So work with our lenders, work with us to say, hey, we've got the 3.5, how do we work with the rest to see how we can find our ways to the middle? Really the biggest thing guys, as you can see, 50%, 43%, all these other things, Really, guys, at the end of the day, for you, there's money out there. There are options out there, options with plenty of different avenues in which to take. All right, so bring it to us. Let's see what you guys have. Let's see what your client needs so we can fit them in the proper box. Because as much as we want to go back to Hometown Heroes, sadly enough, it's not there. That, But that does not mean that there isn't another, another option for us. There's plenty out there. We just need to start educating you guys. So whether it's you guys in the education or you want to do some lunch and learns, these little housing pro programs can really get you guys out of a bind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of stop the guns here so we can go on to the next program. Just know, guys, the housing programs are still out there. They just have different names. Thank you guys so much again. Like said, yeah, I mean, these are some great programs with the state. And the nice thing is, you know, as you see their 640 credit score, you could have a 641, an 800 credit score. The rates are all set by the Florida Housing Authority each day. So it, it's it's a game changer for everybody because right now. Um, you know, with the Florida bond program, if you're at a 640 credit score going normal FHA and putting your own down payment, it doesn't look very pretty. So the cool thing about this is that our state is trying to help home buyers, first time home buyers get into a home. And as these, you know, programs evolve over time, you know, just so you know, we have three or four different uh, lenders that we work with that offer these programs. So um, it's it's a good one. Not everybody can do these. Um, you know, so that's the nice thing again about being uh, a broker from your mortgage consultants is that we have 40 different lenders. We might even have more, um, including commercial, um, you know, investor loans. I mean, basically, we could do every single type of loan there is except for construction and permits. So um, I appreciate that, Sid. And uh, this is the exciting part. And, you know, as we go through it, you might be asking some questions like, oh, you can't find a home. Um, for $350,000, but I'll pull up some things that are pretty interesting because right now I got three of these going on in Florida, uh, two of them being a condo. Uh, I just want to reach out. Hey, Maxson, are you on Are you on the call? And he might be on mute. Yeah, I'm here. Um, I'm here. Hey, Maxson, what's up, buddy? What's going on, man? So I've been working with Maxson for, I don't know, what, two and a half, three years probably. And uh, just right now, we have a really interesting, I just wanted to share this. Um, we, we He sent me a client and, you know, they have enough for down payment, not enough for closing costs. And you know how the market is sometimes in, in specific to different areas. You know, if it's a hot market, you might not be able to get star concessions, but we have a buyer that fits this program perfect. So the really cool thing about it is, you know, our buyers only bring 1% down to the table. There's no mortgage insurance. It's, it's wild. So there's no mortgage insurance. And she's getting a 2% grant from Rocket Mortgage that is forgivable. So in six, after six payments, you know, in rate drop, we could refinance it. Um, so, and, and Max, and how's the experience gone so far with that? 
it's been going pretty good actually. Um, I mean, we found the right property. Um, it, it is, you know, in the lower price around 145,000, but I mean, we got, this one has a lot of potential and, you know, it has like the entire downstairs that can be built out. So it's actually a great property that works out for her. And, um, you know, right now we're in the inspection process, uh, just making sure everything's all good for her, but otherwise awesome. it's, it's all looking good. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited about it and, uh, I'm going to have Shauna. So Shauna is our senior account manager with rocket mortgage. And I'm just going to let you guys know, just put, you know, kill the elephant in the room here that you know there's pros and cons of what you probably heard as a broker you know with rocket we use them for underwriting and their tools and their technology because it's superb compared to anybody else and if you follow us on facebook or premier mortgage um you know we're, we're getting fast like usually it comes out of underwriting same day or next day and there's like two conditions so we're closing loans super fast like 10 business days so two weeks or less typically I would say our averages. So I think this is a good program, especially, you know, I think condos are a big thing and we'll talk about that too. Another tool that we have for you guys that I help a lot of you guys with, but this is a really powerful um, program and nobody else in the entire industry offers it. So Sean, I'm going to let you kick it off a little bit. And then I don't know if anybody has any questions, the chat, I see two in there. I can't see it, but um, feel free to ask any questions as we go. And then uh, we'll be happy to answer it and we'll stop in between. Um, so, hey guys, so the, the one plus by rocket mortgage is our affordable products. One of our top products for you guys. Um, the way it works is that somebody with an 80% or less of area median income and Matt can help you look that up. It's based off of County. We pay a 2% grant for the buyer and we also pay for their mortgage insurance. Um, Tracy, can you mute yourself? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so basically, because we're paying for that, you know, it is not increasing the rate. So this is a Fannie Mae product. It still has, it actually has better rates um, than if you were to put 5% down because it also is covering some of the Fannie Mae hits that cause rates to go up when you only have 3% down. So the client has to come in with a minimum of 1%. They can come in with up to 3%, um, 2% from us no mortgage insurance. This is good on all property types. So it does have to be a one unit primary, but you can do this on condos, townhomes, manufactured homes, PUDs, condo, um, obviously single family home. The other thing that's really good about this is you can still use seller concessions. Um, they, the buyer has to have 1% of their own money, but seller concessions can go to things like temporary buy down or covering closing costs. Uh, so it does give you you know, and here's some of the actually AMI based on county that Matt's kind of throwing up there. Um, hey, Sean. So just so everybody knows, so it will not cover a two to four unit property. So that is yep. a part of it. Yep. But the cool thing is you don't have to be a first time home buyer. Correct. So this is for anyone. If you've got a client who's turning their current primary into an investment property and wants to buy a new one, they can qualify for this. Um, you know, somebody who you know, has never owned before or somebody who's owned a home and is selling their house. So yeah. any kind of buyer. Um, it's awesome in that aspect of it. And I know it's not for everybody, but that's another tool, you know, with these first time home buyers, this is kind of the zone that they might be in. And I know inventory might be short, but that doesn't mean, you know, down the road in a couple of months, maybe they raise that up, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just something to keep in your in your pocket uh, for down the road. But here's some examples. So there's a tool called Fannie Mae Lookup Tool so you can see what the average median income is. So I just pulled a couple of places like Orlando. So if your buyer makes, and I have a condo right now um, in Orlando that fits this criteria teacher, um, but if they make $68,000 or less, they would qualify if they have, you know, social security income or different types of income, we could actually not use that if we don't need to as well. Um, call your county is eighty thousand five hundred sixty dollars for the average median income, and then we have Lee County at sixty eight thousand. So obviously, there's more counties in Florida, but you know we could always look this up for you, or you could simply um, go on Google and look up Fannie Mae lookup tool and see what the average median income is for that area. Um, and I pulled this up the other day. So there's actually five hundred and two homes in Florida that qualify for this program. I know it doesn't seem a lot in spectrum. I'm not a realtor and you might be looking at this and say, oh, that's not much inventory at all, but it's 502 opportunities that are out there. 
And that's how I think we have to look at this is there's opportunities out there that we could reach to people with these programs. Um, and I didn't put this part of the presentation. We could talk about marketing, you know, on a different call, but I have so many flyers that could co-brand, um, you know, with you guys and stuff like that, that you could share on social media um, and videos and stuff like that. So I just wanted to let you guys know that there's definitely opportunities in the state of Florida on this. Um, you know, there's not going to be a million of them and this changes every single day with the MLS, but the business is out there. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is you could just Google Fannie Mae lookup tool. That's what I do. brings you right there. And just, you know, as long as they make 80% or less of the average median income, they could qualify for this program. And it's really about just knowing and understanding your market. You know, Naples is a little bit tougher. I, I'm been here for 12 years. I know it's very difficult to qualify for something like this, but if you're in Lee County, there's probably a lot more opportunities. So just something to keep in mind. Um, and then, Sean, you did hey, talk Matt, about Matt real quick. Yes, Matt, real quick on that one. I just want to just a quick question for Shauna too, as well. As far as that area median income, that is it, that's for either uh, W-2 borrowers or self-employed, or only W-2. Nope, W-2 or self-employed. Anybody can qualify. Okay. And something Matt touched on, but I just want to make sure people understand is you have to use their base salary. You do not have to use bonus overtime commission income. So if they're base plus, they can get in here with using, you know, just their base or base plus their bonus or base plus their overtime and you can mix and match it too. So. Great question. Perfect. Great Thank question. you, Shana. Yep. Um, I see in the chat, do we have something new? If somebody wants to check that real quick, does that somebody have a question? Uh, that was the, that was the question. That's why I was bringing that up. Oh, gotcha. All right, good question. By the way, awesome question. Um, and then you can see the savings here. So, for example, if you were not doing this program but could qualify for this program, so if you went to a different lender or broker who does not have this program, I mean, if you look here, the mortgage insurance on this example, I mean, the buyer's saving a hundred dollars per month almost um, with this program because they're not paying the PMI. So think about that in long term. That's thousands and thousands of dollars. And then the second piece is on a three hundred thousand dollar loan, they're only coming to the table with three three thousand dollars. So that's six thousand dollars in upfront costs, which could be used for the closing costs or different avenues, moving costs, whatever you could think of. So it's a really great program. Um, and I think if you haven't ever heard of this program or you haven't talked to any of us over here, uh, we should probably definitely get on a call um, and try to help more buyers that maybe aren't qualified because they're using the preferred bank or whoever. And maybe we can do something and win together on this. Um, and Matt, we got another question that. that came in. Oh, yeah. Yes. Another question that came in. Okay. So I'm, so immigration status, basically they have to have a social security number and they have to be legally working in this country, but we do have a tool that Matt can use to look up based on their visa type um, to confirm, you know, that they're qualified, but it's usually not a problem. I very few, you know, if they're legally working here, it's usually not an issue. DACA is fine. All of that's good. So that's a good question. Whoever asked that, thank you. We love the questions. Yes. Um, I think Sean, you talked about this. So just can can you put more than one percent down? Sure. You can put up to three percent down and still get a two percent grant. So the loan to value could go up to ninety five percent. Um, we talked about the mortgage insurance. Like that's, I think is the biggest game changer because right now, if you have a client who's at 49% debt to income ratio and it has no mortgage insurance, but then if you add mortgage insurance, they're at fit, over 50%, they don't qualify for a conventional loan. Um, and these don't have any of those. I'm sure you guys have all heard, you know, throughout this year, I think it was April where they said, oh, we're going to add all these adjustments for people with, you know, higher credit scores, more down payment. What well, the beautiful part about this program is that it is wiped out, okay? So I call this like the affordability mortgage. Um, and, you know, it's definitely targeted towards first-time home buyers, but uh, it, it's definitely a great program to have in your toolbox. Um, does anybody have any questions on that before we move on? If you want to unmute and ask, that's great. If not, you can put it in the chat. All right. So another big thing that, you know, I hear a lot and I, I do have MB, MVP realtors I work with in, you know, Orlando and uh, the Miami for Lauderdale market and it's condos. Okay. Um, and, you know, 
how many of you guys out there have had condo transactions fall apart for financing? This is where you could unmute. I know I've, I've seen a few that I've had to save um, because of this program, but you know, they're out there. So for example, if, if the condo association doesn't have reserves or has too many investors, um, has structural problems. So I'm going to play this little clip um, and then we'll talk about this cool program, how we can help you target, you know, or not target, but help your buyers in certain with zip codes and condos that are already approved where there is no condo questionnaire there is no reserve requirements and all those fun things. Tired of condos not being approved or taking forever. Like literally forever. You don't have to wait anymore. With Condo Simply, we make buying condos with Premier Mortgage Simple. All right, so a little fun video there. But so our, our condo tool, so we have access to zip codes nationwide. I know we're focused on Florida uh, and to my understanding, I don't think MVP, you guys are outside of Florida, but um, we could do these across the nation. Um, and just literally you give us a zip code, we type it into our, our tool and it will spit out all the condos that are already approved. And what this does for you is it reduces closing times because you're not dependent on a condo questionnaire as we talked about. You're not dependent on the association having reserves and you're not chasing the HOA or CAM, okay? You're not chasing trying to get all this information. And sometimes we do our best and, you know, the realtors are doing their best and then it's taking weeks or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So there's no more worrying. There's no more worrying. It makes it easy. Um, and that doesn't mean that they're not on the list that we can't do them, but it makes it a lot easier because then we don't have to worry about it. And that's always the biggest thing with condos is, is it going to be approved? Is it not going to be approved? And then obviously if it's not approved and the buyer doesn't have in the state of Florida, you know, 25% down because they don't have reserves, the whole deal falls apart. So I just did a sample real quick for, you know, Naples. So, you know, in 34109, this one zip code near our office off Pine Ridge, these are the condos that are already approved. So if you have somebody that wants to buy in Victoria Lakes, they have until September of next year where we don't have to worry about it. I'm not familiar with that area or that condo association, but it's approved. And so are the others on this list. So um, the really cool thing is if you have a client looking at to, to, to buy a, um, a condo and they don't necessarily know, or you're not sure if it's going to be approved and you're asking all these questions, if they work with us and, you know, with our rocket mortgage that has this list, because obviously this only pertains to them, we could rock that super fast. All right. And you don't have anything that you really have to work at. Um, look at. Premier so what does that mean? Consultants. We can deliver for your clients with speed and certainty. With our amazing condo simply tool, we were able to do things like nine days clear to close on a condo. Ask us how. So, you know, Jeff and I, we were working together on a condo um, with one of our realtor partners and it literally closed in nine days, which is insane. It wasn't a transfer or anything. It was full doc, full appraisal. We closed it with Rocket in nine days. It was awesome. So what does that mean for you? Is it say you have the certainty working with us to make sure that it goes through um, to the finish line? Um, does anything? Does anybody have any questions on that? It's, I know it's probably a different program that maybe you've never heard of. Um, but any questions on that and how we can help you with that? See the chats. I have a question real quick for you, Matt. Um, I don't see anything in the chat right now, but um, it's a question in regards to this. I've used that that uh, that uh, condo simply a lot. It's definitely helped my clients and definitely helped my realtors feel a little more confident when they're putting their offers in. But um, one question that I have gotten before on this, and I don't think I've, I've looked at it outside of the, the state of Florida, is um, do we have the ability on this uh, on this program, maybe Shauna can ask this or answer this on, let's say it's an investment in another state. Do we have the ability to look that up pretty much anywhere in the United States? Yep, you have access to, you have access to the entire database. Um, you just have to, Okay. I know you guys are licensed outside of Florida, but the realtor would have to be licensed obviously there as well. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, we have some, yep. I know I have uh, some realtors that I work with that are, you know, multi-state um, that they work in. So, um, yep. yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. Good question. Anything in the chat or? Nope, you're good to go. Okay. Anybody have a question that, th that they want to ask? 
All right. I know we told everyone to mute, so um, all good. All right. So then we have another tool, um, which I think is very, very, very powerful um, called the vow letter. So here's a little video and then we'll talk about it. Are you buying a home? We can help. Visit pmcnow.com for fully underwritten pre-approval. The loan is just contingent on appraisal and title. Let's get started today. Contact us for free consultations. All right. So as a realtor, I'm sure you get pre-approvals, pre-qualification letters, uh, foo-foo, whatever you want to call it, right? And, you know, as a listing agent, if you are a listing agent, you, you always probably vet them. Um, here's something that I think is really powerful. And then, Jeff, if you want to talk about it a little bit as well, is what we have is called a verifica- um, verified approval letter. Um, these actually go to an underwriting team and they review credit, they review assets, they review um, income, everything is cleared so that when we get a contract, all we need to do is submit it with the address, disclosures go out, all we need is title, insurance, and appraisal. Um, Jeff, how are, you, how are you utilizing this pool? So, you know, one of the big things and big uh, complications that I had during the, the COVID time, whenever, you know, every house that came on the market probably had you know, 15, 20 offers on it within the first few days um, was the amount of phone calls I was getting from listing agents um, saying, hey, listen, how qualified is your borrower? You know, um, how much have you done? Um, I think the the premise out there is is that, you know, a pre-approval letter is basically, um, you know, just a piece of paper where we've checked credit and said, hey, yep, they take some money and we've sent out a number that says they can get approved for um, without a lot of, you know, pre-underwriting or even just reviewing of documents, uh, you know, from the, from the lender, the LO, or even, you know, um, you know, just getting the correct documents in general. So, you know, what, what we've done now, um, by utilizing this VAL approval letter is we do, we basically get the pre-underwriting completed. Um, we have the income docs reviewed by an actual underwriter. We have, um, you know, their, uh, their asset statements reviewed by an underwriter to make sure they've got the money and the funds for the down payment or reserves or anything that we could possibly need on this. And we're just basically pending that address to be able to put in there um, the title work and the appraisal to actually get it to close. And what that did for a lot of my borrowers was allow them when they were putting in their offers, now they can't put it in as cash. But at the end of the day, they're you know, when you're competing against the cash offer, it's a lot easier whenever that seller knows that, hey, hey all we need is a good appraisal, basically, some title work, and uh, and we're ready to roll. Um, it really made those offers extremely strong for my uh, for my buyers and for the buyers themselves to feel comfortable and confident going in against, you know, say 15, 20 people. And while that might not be the case right this minute with our market the way it is, um, it's, you know, as soon as we see any sort of interest rate drop whatsoever, we know that that 40 million people on the sideline right now in the state of Florida that are waiting to buy um, for these interest rates to drop, it's going to get back there again. So this is a very, very important tool for us. And it's awesome that uh, this lender is offering that to us to, uh, to be able to provide that for our realtors. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and we, uh, I submitted one uh, yesterday and it was Val approved the same day. So that's pretty cool. So not only does it have my eyes on it, but also has a lender's underwriter's eyes on it. And it's, it's just really neat that we have these opportunities where, again, we have fast closing. So if you're in a situation as a realtor and you want to win the deal over 10 offers, you could say like, hey, we only need a 14-day finance contingency and a 21-day close. I'm not saying that should be the norm for everything, but if you're trying to win a deal, you know, we're basically going to guarantee it. And then just to answer the question and that someone had asked in the chat. So the VAL is a verified approval letter. This means that, you know, the loan officer has submitted income and asset documentation to us and an underwriter has fully underwritten the loan. So it's only contingent on appraisal and title by the time, you know, you guys are making the offer. So this way your offer, it's, it's not cash, but it's the next best thing. And they won't even let you submit it to an underwriter unless you have everything. Like you can't even just make it up. Like it has to be everything like pretend there's a contract and it's a real property. That's how they look at it. I think there's a question Glenn was saying. Oh, that was the question I answered. It. Oh, okay. Awesome. Does anybody have any questions on that? All right. So credit upgrade. Sean, why don't you talk about this real quick? Um, so credit upgrade is a program that, you know, 
Matt and Premier, they cover the cost for you guys to actually get rapid rescore for your clients. So basically, you know, if you've got a borrower who comes to you or a buyer, I should say, who comes to you looking for a home and, you know, they're, they may not qualify based on their FICO score, um, Matt and his team, which is awesome, they cover the cost to help get this borrower high enough credit score to qualify for all of these amazing products. Yeah, so a quick example would be like, for example, um, you know, I had somebody at like a 679 credit score and if they got to 680, it would improve the rate by a pretty good margin, right? So we were able to, you know, pay down a card 30 bucks, submit it to the rocket team. And within a couple of days, the score was refreshed. The pricing got better for the rate and everybody was super pumped up. And that really comes back. You know, I, I sell it as a team effort, realtor and me or realtor and Jeff or realtor and whoever, um, as we're doing this for the client and they feel good about it. And what that does in turn will get you more referrals. Like the biggest thing is whenever we talk to clients, we're always asking, you know, do you have friends, family, coworkers, you know, people online you talk to? that might be renting and interested to buy a house and they just don't know where to start where that's where our, our path to home ownership comes in. And this is a big piece of it. And it really helps, you know, gear a conversation, whether it's now to buy a house or if it's three months to buy a house or if it's a year to buy a house, but no matter what it is, we're here and all in to help them. Does anybody have any questions or anything they want to add on to this? All one, right. one thing I, I would like to add on, and Matt, real quick, let me add on to that real quick as far as the credit upgrade goes. So, uh, you know, in this day and age, we're getting a lot of people, first time home buyers that are sort of coming out of the woodwork too as well and realizing with, you know, with rates continuing to go up that they don't want to wait. So we have, we've utilized this a lot. I know personally, I've utilized this a lot with a lot of my clients um, who are trying to fix them, you know, their credit themselves. And they've been working on it for six months, eight months. And they're just like, listen, I don't think I'm ready to buy. Um, it's, it, it can be something that gets you over the hump to get you a better interest rate. Sure. But it's also been a tool to help a lot of first time home buyers um, get over that hump to actually be approved in general. Um, you know, and the cost to do so for them to do it on the, you know, by themselves um, can be exponentially higher um, you know, than what it could be to, uh, you know, to really just work on a rapid rescore real quick and, and, uh, and try to get it done, you know, on a faster basis. And not only that, you know, it, it helps them out and, and gets them to understand that, Hey, listen, you know, we, we've got their back on this. We're not that we're not out there just to try to get a mortgage for them. At the end of the day, we really want to see them get into a house and, um, you know, us covering the fee on this, you know, with the credit upgrade, um, makes them understand that, you know, we've, we've kind of got their back on everything. So, um, it's something that can really push the process faster for them to get them into a home and really just get them out there looking. So it opens up the buying power. At the end of the day, that's our ultimate goal with our realtors is just to give them more tools and more ammunition um, so that they can start saying yes to everybody and they never have to say no. That's a strong point because I've talked to people that have worked with like Lexington Law and they charge hundreds and hundreds of dollars and that money goes away right. when they want to buy a house, right? Because they need money probably for down payment. So it's a really cool tool exactly. that we have to keep more money in our clients' pockets that aren't going to cost them either. So that's something that we offer to our realtor partners and obviously our buyers that uh, come with that. Do we have any questions in the chat? I have a question. No, sir. All right, Christine, go ahead. Uh, in regards to the Lee County um, income average, is that 68000 a household income or just a single income earner? That's a That's household a good... income. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, Shauna, to clarify, is it on the whoever's on the mortgage or is it the household, like tax returns are required? No, no, no. Just whoever's on the mortgage. Sorry. So, so, so if you so if you can qualify with just one person's income, um, you can have two people on title, or you can even have another person on the mortgage and just not um, input their any of their work history. Okay, That's a great you. question, Christine. Great question. Um, yeah. So you know, if you have a, a a couple or a married couple and they make a hundred thousand, but maybe wife makes sixty five thousand, then we could uh, just do it with the wife, and you don't have to worry about it. It's a little bit different than the Florida Bond Program or AKA you know what Hometown Heroes was. If you're married, uh, it's going to go off the household income and tax returns are required for it. So. 
um, that's a pretty cool uh, program that we have with that. So great question. I have another question. Yeah. I have a couple who is um, not from this country, but they are legally here. Uh, the husband is making about 85000 They have been here uh, nine months. Would they be able to qualify for something like this? Do they have credit history? That's the thing. They are building their credit for the past nine months. So, I mean, if so, Matt would be able to, or, or Jeff um, will be able to go ahead and pull up their credit and see, you know, where they're at. And as long as they've, they do need to have credit history and credit established. Um, we also can get a copy of their visa or green card, and then we can look up to confirm that their documentation is what is needed to, to do a loan, but usually it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome. Great questions. All right. So the last part, um, so technology. So we have a really cool LOS system and we used to use different ones and you had to be connected to a VPN or your laptop. So our new system that we use, we could actually do pre-approvals from our phone, our tablet, from the beach, from the airplane, from vacation, you name it, we could do it. As long as there's an internet connection, we're good. But the really cool part is with our realtor partners is that we could set up your own pre-approval links. So this is my buddy, Chris Susi. You guys probably know who he is. Um, one of my really, really, really good friends. Um, so this is just a sample. So for example, with our CRM that we have, which ties into our LOS, we got, we could create you guys your own co-branded pre-application link, um, you know, that, that you have. So if you're doing an open house or if you're showing homes and maybe they're not pre-approved or you want to get a second opinion, they could just open, you could open this up and it's really easy. You just touch purchase and then it asks bubble questions and it's super easy. It takes like three to five minutes to fill out. Um, but the cool thing is, is that it ties you to the buyer. So, you know, when they start the application, finish the application, when the appraisal is ordered, um, all the different milestones approved with conditions, uh, clear to close, post-closing and then they go into our CRM for the longevity and they get hit with that over time. So let's just say in two years, they come, John Doe comes back and says, Hey, listen, I'm looking to sell my house and I want to buy a new one. Well, guess what? You as the realtor, I'll know who it is or Jeff or whoever on our team will know who that realtor is. We'll, we'll call you up and say, Hey, John, um, you know, Stuart is looking to purchase a home. Um, you sold, you know, we did the last deal together. Let's get connected again. So we always tie things back to you. It's not about giving it to a different realtor or anything like that. You are a partner. And that's the big thing I want to just drive home. You're our partner. And with the partnership is that it always stays with you for the long term and longevity. And if they have friends or family, you know, we can just go in our system and be like, oh, John Doe worked with Chris, Christine. And then we could reach out to Christine. Hey, um, John Doe referred Ray. And I want you to get with Ray. I talked to him and you know, I want you to get connected with them. So it's really cool. And it's co branded and it has our stuff on the bottom. So it's really about you here. But I think the biggest thing is, you know, when we talk about communication, whether it's verbal or technology that we have, whatever it is, you're always in the loop. So you're not sitting there wondering, like, what's going on with my file? You know, why is, you know, is the appraisal order? You're going to know all the steps throughout the process. And I think that's a really big thing. And then I think post-closing is the biggest thing is because if you can't organize or have a CRM system that follows up with people, those are missed opportunities down the road. Um, so that's one big thing we're really big about is technology and then making it easy for everybody. Like we make the mortgage process as easy as possible. And I think that's why people love working with us. It's just, it's not complicated. You don't have to spend 30 minutes to fill out an application. We have a secure portal where you upload your docs and we have our operations team review the docs and we just have really great things in place. So, you know, if you guys want to have a conversation, you know, you could always um, shoot Jeff or myself uh, or Sid or Glenn an email and we could get on the phone and uh, definitely set this up for you. It, it, you know, it takes five, 10 minutes to do it. And, you know, all we need is a headshot and your information, but um, it's just one, one last thing I think is always important is technology. So, I mean, that's it. So I know we went a little bit longer than anticipated. Um, we had some questions in between, but I do want to open it up. I know we stopped in between, but to see if anybody has any, uh, remarks or any feedback that they want to share.
I know MVP is not a quiet crowd. I have a it, question. Oh, Anna, go ahead. Sorry, I have the kids in the car with me, uh, so hopefully the background is not going to be too much. But uh, can you go back to the credit repair for the clients? I think I missed a part of how that works as far as where the money is coming from to help them, or is that debited later? Can you go over that part again, if, if that's okay? Yeah. So there's a couple things. Typically, when we pull credit, it is a FICO 2, 4, and 5 score that, that the clients don't see unless you get an app called myfico.com where you pay for it. So sometimes, yes, as far as getting the credit to where it needs to be, there is a financial obligation to the client if they need to pay a Victoria's Secret card down 100 bucks, or if they need to you know, pay down a Best Buy card by $25 to get their credit utilization down. But we map out that game plan with the credit team and that's clear, like, all right, we need to get this dispute removed, whatever it might be of what to do. But they're not going to get charged for the rapid rescore, which typically, if it's on three bureaus, is about $150. So if they went to John Doe Bank and, hey, listen, you know, you know, I was going to say, Cindy, you need to work on your credit to get it over a certain threshold. Um, you know, that's an out-of-pocket expense for that client where we're going to actually cover that for you. I got you. I got you. But we'll give you a roadmap of what you need uh, to do to get there or the client, what they need to do to get there. That's a great question. Thank you for clarifying that. Of course. Uh, how's the chat looking? Any other questions? Uh, I think we got most of them answered. I have a quick uh, question. Hey, uh, Maxon. Yeah, hey, Matt. My question is um about that 1% down program working for people who aren't first-time homebuyers. Um, can you kind of explain that again? Because I'm a little confused on that. So people who want to use their current house and turn it into an investment can buy another home with only 1% down? Correct. Oh, wow. As long as they, because they're going to occupy the property. So at closing, you know, they sign a paper, you're going to occupy the property, the new one within 60 days. Wow, that's pretty good. I did not know that. Yeah, so it's it's a little bit different than other programs where you can't have any home ownership in the last three years. This one does not have that step on that. But remember, they still have to have 80% or less of area median income, and they would have to qualify with both payments. So most of the time, it's people selling their current primary and buying a new one, but you never know. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I think too, you know, as you know, time evolves already this year, they already increased the average, the average median income, the AMI. Um, so as time goes on and people make more money, those numbers will continue to increase. But again, like this is an exclusive product that nobody else offers um, in the entire market with the low rates and all the benefits that you get. So, um, you know, as, as things evolve, we'll definitely be sharing that information as we go. I have another question. Sure. In regards to technology and CRM, uh, are you working with any lead generation companies? Um, we do partner with different, you know, Max and I partner, with, I, I partner, you know, with different MVP realtors and other realtors with, you know, uh, was it uh, Real Geeks, KV Core, Boomtown, Zilla I don't really do too much with, but um, we do do leads, uh, for sure. Glenn, I don't know if you're still on the call. Um, but Glenn does, uh, you know, Google leads, organic leads to our landing pages, um, throughout the state of Florida. And I, I will tell you this, um, we do round robin them, but they typically never have a realtor. Okay. Got it. Okay. Which is great. So that creates opportunities for both of us, you know? Mm -hmm. But you have a partnership with Real Geeks, you said? Uh, I think there's, I don't know who else is on, I mean, Max and I think we do Real Geeks. Uh, there's a couple others that I've done Real Geeks with, uh, Boomtown, Heavy Core. I think another one's Chime or Sync, I think it's called. Okay. But we're, we're always, you know, if it makes sense, we're always willing to, you know, help grow your business as we grow ours. Okay. Thank you. Great question.
Anybody else? Say going once, going twice. How about Anthony or Keith? Do you guys have anything that you want to just no. uh, tie it up with? Or No, I mean, I thought it was a great presentation, Matt, with you and the team, with Shauna, with Sid, with Jeff and Glenn. I, I felt it was informative, and I'm, you know, obviously the, these pr great programs they be have in place is is really exciting, and I'm hoping our agents are able to help their clients with these options. So, I mean, this has been very informative, and I thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I would just say, uh, Matt, uh, this is very exciting uh, for our realtors. Uh, I think that a lot of these programs will are are just amazing and gives us a great step forward. Um, if some of the agents who maybe speak Spanish more fluently than maybe they understand English, is there someone they could connect with to maybe go over this presentation in Spanish? Absolutely. So um, we do have Sid. Um, obviously, as you guys know, we have Fred Bowman which you guys may know. And then we have Freddie Guerrero up in Orlando um, who are bilingual. And we have Maria who is also bilingual. So we have four um, loan officers that are bilingual um, that can actually go through this with them. And actually I was going to put something out through our CRM to everybody, obviously with this presentation that didn't make it. Um, but we'd be more than happy to set something up where we can do it um, in Spanish. I mean, that's the only other language I think we have. Um, but yeah, that that's a great idea. Well, great. Well, sounds good, Matt. And like I said, we're looking forward to getting this new venture and partnership together going. And, and I hope our agents are able to capitalize on these opportunities you're providing for us. So thank you again and your awesome. staff for, for this Zoom training and looking forward to many more. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, we hope to connect with you guys and we have our information up there. So just feel free to reach out anytime. And uh, we'd love to get on the phone with uh, with you guys. So thank you very much. Um, and we will talk soon. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone.